It's only been well, roughly a year since uh, U.S. Olympic legend Amy Van Dyken was uh, seriously injured in a bad ATV accident. She severed her spine. There was a point in time where doctors weren't really sure if she was going to live or not. But yesterday, she posted unbelievable video showing her standing up on her in her own power. I mean, this is an incredible story how she went from uh, doctors weren't sure if she was going to live, if she was going to walk, and now she's up and moving on her own. She's one of the most unbelievably determined people I've ever seen in my entire life life uh, and fortunately she joins us right now Amy thank you so much for joining us on TMZ Hollywood Sports how are you I'm awesome thanks so much for having me I appreciate it your story is unbelievable I remember when we first uh, heard about it in the newsroom it was shocking I mean it's shocking to say the least but I remember when your family and, and people around you were making statements no one said you were paralyzed they said your spine has been severed but no one said she's paralyzed and she's never gonna walk again uh, they were very careful with their words and now uh, the progress that you've made is incredible uh, you tell us about it yeah it's been uh, like you said incredible I was told that my spine was severed I was never gonna walk again so when I was telling everybody that I'm gonna walk, people kind of looked at me and did the, oh, poor you thing. Um, but I tell you what, I've been working three out, three days a week, two hours at a pop, and yesterday I stood up by myself. I'm walking in an exoskeleton. They can actually turn the exoskeleton off and I can put my leg forward plant it, lock my knee out, and pretty much that's walking. So I'm so excited to tell you guys that probably in the next two weeks, I'm getting fitted for braces, and I'll be able to walk in braces. Oh my That's God. That's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, amazing. That's <laughs> incredible. I'm now, I, I, I gotta say, uh, do you think that your Olympic training has helped you in your recovery because you have to be like so determined? Yeah, I think absolutely, because there were days when I was training for the games where I was like, I don't want to go to practice, this totally sucks, and you know what, there are days where I go, I don't want to go to physical therapy, this totally sucks, but you know what, you pull some out of yourself you do it and then you have an amazing day and I, I truly believe that if I wouldn't have had that Olympic experience this would be a completely different story for me but that being said I'm also here to tell people that trust me if I can do it you can do it so just rock it out everybody so uh, tell us about the exoskeleton how does this thing actually work so um, uh, the one that I'm using every Wednesday is a little different than that one that you're seeing there that one you lean forward it gives you a vibration and then you know it's gonna take a step the one I use every Wednesday, um, it, it's different in the fact that they can turn down the, the mechanics of it and make me use my own muscles. Tell you what, never sweat so bad in my entire life, get all stinky, <laughs> but it's awesome. <laughs> Is this kind of what you're most proud about, battling back through this horrific injury and, and getting to where you are now, even above the six gold medals? Yeah, the doctor told me, you know, when I had the accident, he said the sheath around your spinal cord was burst open. I saw your spinal cord. You should not be able to walk. I thought it was completely severed. He's like, there's no way. I don't know how you're doing what you're doing. So that being said, when they were doing the predictions for the Olympics, I was only supposed to win a bronze medal. I walked away with six gold medals. Wasn't mm. supposed to walk. Now, hopefully I'm going to be walking under my own power with those braces. So this is the biggest accomplishment absolutely of my entire life. I just wish that someone would play the national anthem and I could stand there for myself. <laughs> hey, Amy, I have, a, I have a question for you. Where do you hope to be in, in 10 years from now? Hopefully in 10 years, there's going to be a cure for spinal cord injuries. So, you know, you'll be able to, as soon as you get injured, get an injection and then you'll be cured. So hopefully I will be on the forefront of that cure. Um, but if I'm not, I will be rocking out the braces. I will be walking out my purple scully wheelchair um, and living life and loving life. And I'll tell you what, you know, a lot of people here, you're paralyzed, you're paraplegic. And a lot of people think it's the end of the world. And I'm going to tell you what, I smile more now. Um, I laugh more more now? Is it because I was given a second chance? Maybe. Is it because I'm on TMZ with you guys? Probably. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, I gotta say, you're, you're an inspiration. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we enjoy keeping track of your progress and can't wait to see you develop even further. This is amazing. Well, thank you. And you guys, thank you so much for keeping up with this and, and you know posting all of the stuff. It, it's really awesome and it means a lot because you guys are absolutely the best.